Hello everyone, welcome back to Mastery Mayhem. Always glad to have you all tuning in. Today we're going to go ahead and do a review on the M12 Fuel. This is the Hatchet 6 inch pruning saw kit by Milwaukee. It is the M12 line so it's a 12 volt fuel. That's the model number right there. Let's see if I can read it. 2527-21. Alright, this is the Hatchet 6 inch pruning saw kit right there. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this and see what's inside, and then we'll put this uh, hatchet six inch saw kit to test and see what it can cut, how quickly it can cut. All right, so this does come with an M12 four amp XC four amp hour battery. It does come with your 12 volt charger. And then, of course, it comes with a 6-inch hatchet. This is the Milwaukee fuel line here. We have the lock-off button right here. Make sure it can lock the trigger there. And, and basically, it, when you want to engage it, you have to push that lock-off button right there. And then right here, this portion here is called the body grip. You just hold it right there basically this rubberized area. We'll show you all how to use that a little bit more once we actually go out there and start cutting with it. And this was won by Dan Swisher, by the way, in the uh, 2021 giveaway. So Dan Swisher, congratulations to you. And of course this front piece here is the knuckle guard right there. This section here is the chain guard right there. This is the saw chain. The guide bar right there. This is the Milwaukee scabbard. Right here is, let's zoom in, but that's the chain tensioning screw. Right there you can see plus minus uh, to tighten or loosen up the chain. This, this one here is the guide bar nut. And then of course back on this side here we have the oil cap and the oil reservoir. As you can see here, it says must fill with bar and chain oil before use. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and unscrew this. As you can see here, I just got some ProSelect Premium bar and chain oil for use with all chainsaws. So let's go ahead and fill this up. Oh, well, that's definitely full. Let's see, right there, you can see it fill up. There you go. So if we tilt it like that, you see it go down, and then it fills up. I think that's a leak. I think it's a leak, and we're gonna find out. We're gonna just go ahead and do some cuts after we weigh it. We're gonna weigh it, and then right here is the screwdriver and wrench for the bolt to take the uh, cover off and to adjust the chain tension with on the uh, chain screw or the tension screw right there so that just uh, snaps into place in the tool itself which is pretty awesome but yeah I think it does leak oil Dan I don't know that that's what it looks like um, we'll see if maybe it's just me or there's some other issue but um, it might be a leaker let's go ahead and see how much it weighs with the battery so we know what we're working with at least with the 4 amp hour battery so let's go ahead and pop this guy in, just like that. This weighs four pounds, 14.8 ounces. Let's see if we can give you all a close up there. Four pounds, 14.8 ounces total, with battery, oil, ready to go. I'm gonna just keep cutting until, to see how much it can cut with a four amp hour battery. So it's fully charged as you can see here. All right, so let's go ahead and take this outside. Dan Swisher, we're gonna show you how much it can cut. I want to keep cutting with this until the battery dies so we have an idea of how much you can cut on one charge with a 4 amp hour battery. Then we're going to check the chain, see how loose it is or if it holds up pretty well. We're going to see how much oil it uses up. We're going to see how much oil leaks, if any. I mean right now to me it's, it's a leaker but we'll see. And then uh, we'll tighten up the chain if we have to. And then we'll see how these uh, teeth here, these metal teeth hold up with uh, going against whatever wood you're cutting. And then in the, uh, the manual also has um, instructions on how to cut properly. And so if you need instructions there, 
you can go through that as well. well let's take this outside and cut some wood see how it does all right so before we get started uh, it says to run the chain or to run the hatchet for about 30 seconds before we cut into any wood at all so we're going to run it for about 30 seconds and then we are going to start cutting and we'll just keep cutting uh, until the battery runs out or we're done with these two pieces of wood that I just need to get rid of. Saying it has a five and a half inch cutting capacity. Remember you always have this little stop lock there. Oh yeah, plenty of oil. I just saw it fly off there. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Let's see how many, how many pieces we can cut here. We're going to start on the smaller branches and we'll go from there. Nice. Very easy. Cuts very easily, very smoothly, very quiet. Love it. Okay. Okay, so, so far I cut anywhere from about one inch in diameter to two inch in diameter approximately up to three inch or almost three inch in diameter and now we're gonna go up to the four or five and just see how it cuts all the way up to its five and a half maybe even six inch capacity there so we'll just keep going what we're gonna cut now here is about a three to four inch diameter piece of wood here let me, let me give you a different angle got caught right there so it did get caught here while I was trying to cut Let's see we started it again hmm. there we go so yeah get a little kick back here and there So it cuts through just fine. It does lock up every once in a while. I don't know if it's because it hits knots maybe in the branch, but we're gonna cut a few more. Basically, I'm gonna just finish my job uh, cutting these up. Once I get to a little bit wider there at the end, we'll go from there. Okay. So, so far these are the two widest ones I've cut. It does lock up here occasionally but it seems like it's whenever I put a little too much pressure or if the uh, chain guide is a little bit slanted right and it's not in a uh, straight or 90 degree position there but um, it cuts fine. It's very very quiet. I love it. Dan Swisher I think you're gonna love it too especially if you don't need to cut logs like this and you just need it for smaller two three inch branches and whatnot that's going to work just fine you won't have any issues i'm just kind of pushing it to see if you can cut through these you know five to six inch logs here this is the thickest uh log i have here let's see how it does basically it's approximately the width of chain guide and chain so let's go ahead and do this Yeah, so what, I, what I'm learning with this is just, you don't have to push it down at all. You just kind of hold it and guide it. The chainsaw will do its, the work for you. So, as you see, it didn't, it didn't lock up at all this time with cutting a five inch wider thick branch. And it didn't lock up at all this time. I think maybe the few other times I was pushing down a little too hard. If you just let it do the work, you shouldn't lock, it shouldn't lock up at all. There you go. That's uh that's that's nice. That's a nice hatchet right there. It looks like it has used up some oil as you can see here. But yeah, it's staying lubricated. The chain is still nice and snug, not very loose. It's hanging a little bit there. But we'll show you how to adjust that. Mr. Swisher or Dan Swisher that way when you get it 
uh, you can either watch this video make it easier or just look at the instructions let's just see where we are battery wise I don't know if y'all can see it here down to two bars so let's see if we can finish that other thick branch and if we can get that out of a four amp hour battery I think that's pretty good because they have the six amp hour ones uh, so on and so forth We still got battery life, so we're gonna keep cutting. No problem. Now we're just gonna try a four by six. See how it does with that. Let's see how long it takes. Nice. Let's do it. One bar left. battery is about to go so it's pretty much dead I'm not gonna start a new cut because as you can see there it's flashing so the battery is about to die but yeah we got quite a few cuts out of that so this is what we got two big uh, solid branches from two inch to six inch wide branches and then we had seven cuts out of the four by six and then I don't know uh, two or three out of the two by six right and then three out of the two by four so yeah can cut plenty there but just wanted to get rid of some stuff but that's that's the beast right there this guy will do the job for you it's quiet it's powerful it only locks up if you're you know at kind of at a wrong angle or putting more pressure on it than you need to and you don't let it do the work itself but yeah this thing's this thing's a beauty and looks like the oil is pretty much out there's a little bit remaining so it does use up the oil just fine uh mr dan swisher you give us an update on this after you get it and use it a while let me know if it does leak or not all right dan it's pretty dirty but i'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down clean it up a little bit and then we're gonna tighten up the chain the way it tells us to do it in the instructions and i am not going to refill the oil just in case during uh, the delivery to your place. I don't want oil to get all over the place if it is in fact leaking. Let's go ahead and clean this up, wipe it down. All right, so it's, it's pretty clean now. We got most of the debris off here. All right, let's go ahead and see how we are going to tighten up the chain. As you can see there, it's pretty loose. They said they don't want it to be more loose than uh, about an eighth of an inch drop, so. It's just right there, you just tighten it right there. So I'll show you guys how to do that. 2,650 rotations per minute. Chain speed is 984 feet per minute. Bar length is six inches. Cutting capacity is 5.5 inches, although I think you can go at six inches or more. Chain oil tank capacity, 1.7 ounces. Not, not very much there. The replacement bar, it's got that number in case you need to replace the bar. Chain gauge, 0.043 inches. Replacement chain as well. Chain pitch. Chain pitch is 3 inch low profile. Chain teeth is 28. And operating temperature is 0 degrees Fahrenheit to 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Alright, while the battery is charging, let's just go ahead and take this cover off here. The screwdriver is right here. 
you take that off and you did if you did want to take the cover off it's just this uh, wrench right here loosen this bolt up that way you can take a look inside see what condition things are in right there and then you can also take that off to maintain you know take everything out of there all the gunk build up the debris so that's a quick way to clean it up of course you can take this off completely right so if you want to do that you can just remove that right there so you can take the uh, guide bar and the chain off completely clean it up even more back here highly recommend that you clean it up uh, Dan anytime you get a chance just get the debris out of there and remember if you completely clean it and it just gets dry in here and the mechanisms and all the, the machinery when you put more oil in just make sure you pull that trigger for another 20 30 seconds get everything lubricated and being able to work but yeah it just takes a few minutes to clean it up and make sure you watch and see which way the teeth are facing when you take it off that way you won't have any issues when you have to put it back on the way i do is just kind of wrap it back around the wheel there you go just like that and make sure this pin is coming through the guide bar right there that keeps the guide bar in place and like we were saying the the chain was pretty loose right so if you want to tighten it it shows you here turn it to the left uh, for plus and to the right for minus we want to go to plus take the wrench that's provided and then let's see how many let's do a half a turn see how much tighter that is it's still pretty loose there let's do it again so there you go about half a turn quarter of a turn is all you need let's do that that looks pretty good right there maybe a little bit more and you can feel the tension as you're turning it so just kind of make sure it's nice and snug we'll put the battery back in see how that uh, rotates there but just put the bolt back on right here make sure it's nice and tight and we're just going to pop the battery in there see how it runs again just tighten it down it goes right in there like that it's a nice little storage place there for it I had this on the quick charger let's just run it for a second I really like how quiet this thing is let's take the battery out before I check the chain again but yeah one eighth of an inch drop is all you want there so you want a little play but again you also do not need to take the cover off to tighten it up if you want to tighten it up a little bit more stand up this way as well hey, hey look at that so it does stand if you need it to stand on the four amp hour or six amp hour battery pretty sweet all right so well, thanks for joining me for this unboxing and review of the milwaukee m12 fuel six inch hatchet chainsaw basically and this this guy does the job as far as uh you know getting the branches and even thicker even almost log type branches uh, cut around the house basically up to five and a half six inches in uh, diameter this guy does a great job it'll get most of your work done with a four amp hour battery and i'm sure it'll do even better with a six amp hour battery so congratulations to the giveaway winner uh dan swisher this will be heading your way uh as soon as possible i hope you enjoy it. i hope you put it to good use uh, you have your four amp hour battery you'll have everything that it comes with and again let me know uh, the update it looks like it does leak a little oil uh, it could just be me but that's what i'm seeing right now i don't know if they come like that i think uh, tool review zone or some other uh, individuals did reviews on this and were saying that it does leak but almost a five pound tool with the four amp hour battery this is a tool that's good to have for that type of work you know your credit your you know you need to cut branches or shrubs around the house dan just remember to uh you know make sure you have enough oil keep the chain tight and then in the instructions it shows you how to sharpen the chain if you want to sharpen uh, the chain itself or you can always get a replacement chain which is all in the instructions and the manual there so uh, i hope you all enjoy this review if you did please remember to like share comment subscribe let your friends family know about the channel and of course you can always join the channel if you like definitely do that as a member you get a badge and i'll definitely give you a shout out during live streams and as often as i can and then if you're a tier two uh, member 
you can uh, you also get like behind the scenes videos and uh, surprises that I'll send your way. So as always, I appreciate you all tuning in, and I'll only continue to look for the best tools, tech, DIYs, and deals for you. Until next time, all the best to you and yours.